Mr. Farrakhan, how do you get a person to open up to forgiveness when you have wronged them and are seeking true forgiveness, but the person will not respond? That's a problem. And you can't make a person open up to you and accept your forgiveness. Let me say this. When you have wronged somebody, your duty is, when you know you've wronged them, to repent and ask for forgiveness. That's all you can do. When you repent, listen to me carefully, that means you're sorry for what you did and there's a genuine change in your conduct. If that change in your conduct accompanying your word of pleading and asking for forgiveness does not soften the heart of the person who has been wronged, then you have done all that you can do. You can't do no more than that. Now, if the person is your wife or your husband, this is serious. Serious. Because you're living in the same house. And I would respectfully say to any brother or sister in here, don't you ever turn down somebody who genuinely asks you to forgive them when they have wronged you. Don't walk away and say, nigga, I don't even hear that. Stand there, brother, and listen. Even if you don't believe it, listen. And if you see a change, go and tell him, I accept your forgiveness and embrace each other. You know why you should forgive and accept forgiveness? Because we all have wronged Allah. And we all stand in need of his forgiveness. And we will petition him him before this is over to have mercy and to forgive us and if you expect God to forgive you then you should try practicing forgiving one another Peter asked Jesus how often should I forgive and Jesus said 70 times seven times that means infinity forgive you forgive white people ain't nobody did worse to us than them you forgive them surely you can forgive one another and if you start practicing that tonight you and your husband fell out forgive seek and ask for forgiveness and repent of what you do to one another and accept it and you start building a new relationship the moment you genuinely repent and ask forgiveness and that forgiveness is genuinely accepted how should children be disciplined or controlled